Hello and welcome once again to Funceps. Uh, in this video, we will uh, discuss the concept of negative frequencies and uh, try to understand the interpretation and the way we, in which we can interpret negative frequencies. Uh, first of all, we should remember that negative frequencies uh, do not actually exist in reality in the physical world. Uh, negative frequencies arise more as a mathematical convenience rather than any physical reality. So, to understand this, let us look at the figure on the top of the screen here, where we have a sinusoidal waveform whose, whose time period is given to be as 1 second. That means, it completes 1 cycle in 1 second. So, the frequency, which is the inverse of the time period, is therefore 1 upon 1, which is equal to 1 hertz. So, 1 hertz corresponds to in radians 2 pi radians per second. So, therefore, omega equals 2 pi f will therefore corresponds to 2 pi radians per second. And uh, as I have explained in an earlier video, uh, how to visualize omega, the angular frequency. So, omega is the, let me write it here, the angular frequency omega. Right? Uh, omega can be interpreted as a phasor which is rotating in the counterclockwise direction at the rate of the frequency. That is, if the frequency is 1 hertz, the phasor is rotating or uh, it is completing one complete circle in one second. Uh, for more details regarding the relationship between omega and f, uh, please refer to my earlier video, uh, frequency versus angular frequency. Uh, today, our focus is, is going to be on the negative frequency. So, instead of f being 1 hertz, uh, if we had to say f equals or f equals minus 1 hertz. So, how do we visualize this in terms of the phasor? Uh, in fact, in reality, we cannot produce any waveform which has negative frequency. So, uh, it is not physical, but more of a mathematical representation, but uh, as we will see later in future videos that this uh, mathematical representation uh, is introduced more as a convenience uh, from the fact that we have a complex exponential to represent sinusoids. So, all positive frequencies, so any f which is positive corresponds to a phasor rotating in the clockwise direction. So, it is a phasor rotating in counterclockwise direction. So, the counterclockwise direction rotating phasor is corresponding to positive frequencies. So, how do we interpret negative frequencies? Negative frequencies can be thought of as being phasors which are rotating in the clockwise direction. So, f equal to minus 1 hertz can be thought of as a phasor rotating in the clockwise direction and completing 2 pi radians per second. So, f less than 0, that is negative frequencies can be interpreted as phasor rotating in clockwise direction. Mm -hmm. 
the rate at which the phasor is rotating in both the cases is going to be the same, but the direction of the phasor is opposite. So, the counterclockwise direction of rotation corresponds to positive frequencies and the clockwise direction of rotation for the phasor will correspond to the negative frequencies. So, uh, the way to visualize or interpret positive and negative frequencies in is in terms of the phasor uh, rotating at a certain rate in uh, in the counterclockwise direction and clockwise direction respectively for positive and negative frequencies. Again to emphasize here that negative frequencies do not exist in reality, but they are more uh, as a mathematical convenience as we will uh, see in future lectures. So, negative frequencies do not exist in reality. That means, we cannot physically produce any signal which has negative frequency, so, but they occur as a mathematical, but they occur as a mathematical convenience. All right, so that's the concept of uh, negative frequencies. Uh, thank you, and we'll see you again soon in the next video, continuing further from this topic. Thank you.